Hello everyone, my name is Retro and today we are going to, actually I just streamed a little while ago and uh, I bought a skin for this gun that I was using on the stream and uh, I'm here to tell you, or I'm going to give you a little bit of tips on how to um, how to lead your team to victory in Phantom Forces. So if you look at the top of the leaderboard right there that guy who just killed me he's ranked 27 and he's leading the whole team very surprisingly but the only way he's leading the team is by staying together with the other teammates because that's what he was doing he was following the other two teammates that I killed so yeah so it's kind of crucial that you um make sure that you find out where the other people are in the match or like where your teammates are in the match to make sure that you can get a bunch of kills so you can stay together um unfortunately if you happen to run into other p people like or run into a sniper you might get uh all of you might get killed so that's a little bit uh a little bit of a problem but anyways you should everyone should stay together when they're doing things like that uh, other than that, uh, you should, um, so what I did on, during the stream, I was testing out guns to see which one personally fit me. So I tested out all the guns that I had, and then I came across this one. Uh, I've been get, using this one a lot now because I, it, I think it's easier to use. Uh, Scar H is now in support. It's a nice hot pink skin. I know that. Thunder likes hot pink, so, uh, hot pink, yeah, hot pink it is. So, um, other than the hot pink skin that, uh, so we, yeah, I did amp this out. This does look really cool, doesn't it? It looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, other than that, the only way you can really good to get good kills is to find what guns suit you so other than that there's not a lot of options you have so if you're rank one you might want to try all four of the classes and the guns they give you if you're rank one and you might get high because you might get like you might get top of the leaderboards if you find a gun that you like using advantage whenever you're using an assault rifle because sometimes you might run across a sniper or that guy and they might uh, either one shot kill you or uh, two shot kill you and you don't have enough time to shoot them so that's why it's best to shoot them I think you have to transparency on the skin because it's so hard to see so hold on Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. Or, or fo you start focusing on doing certain things. So, for example, um, yeah. So, for example, I don't want to take. I don't want to put a, a scope on this gun because it looks worse, or it's harder for me to aim. But if you're focused, trying to focus a lot harder on the look better. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so when you're trying to, um, you're trying to just, like, let's say you're a sniper, or you like sniping, then you want to stay backwards, even if you're in a full animation match. You want to stay backwards into a high top like this, or into a crouch spot where people will not likely, or people won't likely find you. Or, and, actually, and, you can simply put a suppressor on on your sh on your sniper maybe you'll lower the damage a little bit but people won't know where you are on the radar. so it's basically it's combat to combat because when you use the radar then you can see other people so like on down there on the radar you can see that one person but when they're not shooting you can't see them For example, I'm chasing this one guy on the radar. Now, I want you 
you to be aware when you're chasing people on the radar and you see a whole bunch of people, I want you to go if you're low level. Or if you have confidence, then I want you to go straight towards it and kill and try and kill them. So if you have confidence that you can kill the people, then you're probably gonna kill them. But if you don't have confidence that you're probably not doing this, I'm probably not gonna kill them. Then you should probably just turn around and kill. Them. kill. So for example, that guy who had a sniper, I bet he usually uses a sniper. Uh, what was his name? I think it was Error, this guy. He usually uses a sniper, I guess, because I've only seen him kill people with a sniper. And that's the only thing that people would use. Now, if you're a sniper, now I'm going to show you what snipers usually do. Snipers stay up top in things like this. So they find a window opening. And they snipe like a normal, person, a normal sniper would. But usually they have either a suppress or sometimes they don't even suppress. So sometimes it's kind of hard to snipe because of your scope. Now I want you to go, if you have a bunch of kills on your gun. See like I'm not very good, I'm not that good of a sniper with that gun I was using. But other than that. If you're trying to be a sniper, then you're going to want to test out your scopes. So first, when you buy the AWS at rank 4, or when you unlock it at rank 41, you're going to get this gun for free. You're going to get this scope for free. Or you'll have this. It's it's intended to be, look at sight accuracy. Sight accuracy is supposed to be high, but when you equip this, it lowers it down to about half. Even though it's at half, it's still a pretty good gun. Now, I'm going to show you how it what most people in scout in the scout class do they pick a low level like the mp5k this is rank zero this is what a normal normal new person would use in the game if they pick this class so they usually pick this gun because it's the first gun in the class and it's basically the only gun they can use so they use this gun and then they now the difference between scout and recon there's a huge difference scout is supposed to run up front with a very fast gun that makes you run fast or has a some kind of or that has like fast shooting it's supposed to be an advantage whenever you kill a person so for example whenever you're killing whenever you're using the mp5k this gun is probably going to be about it's probably going to be like easier to use in the game because it's well if you look at it it's 900 and then you look at the ump and it's 600 fire rate but then when you look at the mp7 that you unlock at rank 9 mine's like totally decked out it looks cool but other than that if you look at let's say we go to support now colt lmg that's the first gun you're gonna unlock i have three kills with this gun i'm not very good with this gun because I'd never use it. I'm more into the assault classes than I am into these guns. So these guns have huge massive. They have over 60 rounds of ammo usually per gun. This gun's very similar to the assault class gun. The only reason why I don't use it is because I'm not very interested in the gun. Because it has a big mag and I like reloading after each kill. So then when my tactics, when I use my tactics, I feel like using, um, I feel like reloading after each kill, so I, that's why I don't use this gun. Well, let's go ahead and scourge. Uh, so let's say you're normal assault class, so then you're going to get AK-12. I've used this gun a couple times, it's pretty easy to use other than, other than the fact that it's rank 0. So there's one other tip I can give you about these guns. Higher rank guns are more unstable. If you look at the AK-12, if you have that gun, it's pretty... It has a lot of recoil and really hard to aim with. But see like how this gun... Takes... And like I'm getting a bunch of kills with it because I'm... I like using the small class and I'm... I'm more optimized using the assault class. So I was, I was like, born using the assault class because that's what I first started out with. 
Now, if you're a person who likes using snipers, you're gonna always get the intervention. Intervention's a really good gun, I recommend using it. Now, other than the intervention, this is probably the easiest sniper rifle to snipe with if you have a laser attachment. You unlock a laser attachment on each gun uh, after about 10 kills, I think it's about 10. So after your 10th kill, put a laser attachment. And you'll notice it's a lot easier to kill people because of how 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 easier it is to shoot. But when you get a higher rank gun, for example, um, when I spawn back in, and let's say you get the BFG 50. Now, this gun is it's basically one shot kill, but there's a downside to it. It only has one ammo. Now that's the where higher ranks have um like when they have more advanced or less and uh, like more experimental type of guns. That, like oh yeah, this is. A I recommend using Block 18 for uh, secondary also. So now let's now let's move into secondaries. I'm like trying to move really fast with this. So secondaries. You're gonna start off with M9. Always. You're gonna always start off with the M9. Now M9 is pretty easily to use since it's the it's rank zero. Now allow me to show you how easy it is to use. And I didn't expect to kill it right because he had a different gun. So let's, you start off with the M9. Now you're gonna ever use. Now other than other than killing people or using buying guns, I don't recommend ever buying guns. Feel it's one hundred percent necessary. So like other than buying a gun, I only recommend buying the BFG fifty because it's one shot kill and I've heard really good reviews about it. Now other than killing people I don't think you should buy any guns. Like, for example, I wanted to buy the Famasa or the Honey Badger. I heard Famasa was really good, and I heard Honey Badger was really good. But I don't feel like buying it, because why would I waste my precious Robux or my precious credits on it when I can just level up and get it? So, like, for example, this. Why would I waste when I'm already rank 38? I can, I can farm all night or a big remainder of the day and get that gun later on or like later during the day so for example um let's see what's the next gun i'm getting this one the aug a2 it's my next ranked gun now if i look here this means each kill gives you about 100 xp so if you calculate this right i need about 20 or 30 kills till i rank up now why would i waste 12 why would i waste a thousand two why would i waste 1200 credits just to buy the gun when I can simply just go 30 kills or go try hard mode and get 30 kills so that's that's why I'm saying never buy a gun unless it's unless it's like the tech 9 or something very useful like maybe even the zip or something something that like a secondary because if you buy a secondary I can go in here and pick the same thing so that's why I'm saying if you're gonna buy a gun buy a secondary and um, that's probably all I'm going to have to finish with because I don't have that much more to finish with in this video other than this. Um, where is it? Other than this. The... Trying to find it. Uh, like, I sold my BFG soon because I thought it was bad and really, it was just a waste. So then, when I look at my other guns, like, I bought this because I heard it was really, really good to use if you like using bolt actions. But other than that, I'm going to have to end this video here. And, um, uh, I'll hopefully see you guys, and probably I'll see you guys in the next video or, or some. So, uh, like, subscribe. I try and stream every week whenever I can. So, uh. I'll see you guys in the next video.